Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Yeah, we made uh, fairly good progress yesterday at late afternoon and evening. Uh, we've got five of the seven little ladders on. We've got two left to go here. Probably quickly finish those up this morning. They're probably going to be a little easier. Uh, yeah, and our, our sun has come up here. And uh, it looks like it's the day might be promising. You know, I haven't checked the weather yet, so maybe, who knows, anything could happen, right? Yeah, uh, anyway, uh, let's sort of roll back and see how it is we got to this place. I'll just carefully show it to you here. Well, hey, check the rollback and you'll see exactly how we got to that place. Okay, here we go for this evening, see what we can get done. Now, when I was doing the final edit in the last episode, I, we, we were right about here and we were talking about this little ladder and how I was thinking if, if I leaned it up the way it, the way it is, it would, uh, you know, look okay. But I was wondering if possibly it was supposed to be bent a little bit more so that it kind of tucked in underneath you'll, you'll notice here that this piece of superstructure here just underneath that door there's there's a bit of a you might say a gap between the between the the the, the bottom of of this room or whatever it was with, you know probably some sort of a storage thing who knows or or it could be that it was a stairway going going down i mean who knows uh, anyway it I think that this ladder is supposed to tuck in underneath. I'm going to just reposition and see if the how, how much room we've actually got. It could be that I'd have to scrunch the ladder uh, too short, if you know what I mean. Uh, we'll put the macro lens on. Okay, I've got those, uh, what you might call a little claw, those, those pieces bent bent down as as far as I can and I can see that that my my thinking is uh is not going to work so what we're going to have to do is uh go back to my original plan and uh and somehow this is going to be really awkward I guess what I'm going to have to do is get it standing almost in an upright position here so that it will be leaning back slightly on on the, on this this part of the superstructure, and yet standing on the deck. Okay, let's uh, let's rearrange here before we get this thing bent out of shape. This is uh, CA thin, not the extra thin, just the thin. And I'm just sort of trying to put it where I think the bottom of the ladder is going to go. I want to get enough on there that it's not going to cure before I get a chance to try and put the ladder there. I, I am having quite a hard time picking it up here. I keep dropping it. Oh my, it pinged out of my tweezers. I can't see it here. I'm going to have to push stop. Okay, I found it. In all likelihood, this, this uh, CA is cured on me now. I'm just wondering if maybe this is just beyond my abilities here. Uh, 
Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll let that cure and and then I'll try and adhere it to the to the top because if I don't, I'll likely when I'm painting break it off. Okay, I've got a little bit of insta set here. Just gonna let it go wicking its way back down the deck. Okay, I forgot to push record the first time, so I'm just giving it a, a little reinforcement there. I have put the other one on much the same way. Okay, I'm thinking this one might be easier. I'm just going to do a dry run here. I'm not going to let go of it because it's too hard to grab with the tweezers just exactly right. So what I'm going to do is try and not accidentally drop it. We'll just put some right in here. Hmm, that's not, that's not where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go about half a millimeter to the, my right. There. Lines up more with those lines that are on the side of the deck here. Okay, I think it's basically in place. Now, where's my curing agent? Get just a little bubble of it to run down the deck here. I had it perfectly too. Let's see if I can get it back here. Oh, nice save. Obviously the uh, CA on the bottom of the rails did not cure yet. Let's see if I can move this down. Let's hold it here with my finger so it doesn't move. Okay, I, I, th I think I got away with it. It's about Seems to me it's about half a millimeter too far to the left though. Let's see if I can move it to the right. Oh. You know what? Maybe I should quit poking at it. Um, is it still reinforced here? I, I think it's touching. I think it's uh, attached, I mean. Do it there. Trying to get some out on the end of the needle. There. That should do it. Okay, let's leave it alone. 
Okay, let's just do a dry run here. I think that's going to be all right. Drop my applicator. Okay, I'm going to want to move it up a bit because when we put it down on the deck, it'll break off. Now it's got to go your way just a bit here. I just looked in the monitor. It's just barely holding on the top, isn't it? But we'll, we'll let that cure. And then maybe I can reinforce it. Oh, you see that wick all this way up, all the way up to the top there. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, let's uh, let's leave it alone. Now the last three ladders are all exactly the same length. They were the same number on the uh, on the fret. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay, let's uh, get it off of there. Hold it carefully, don't let it ping. Oh my goodness, I got it upside down. Now how did that happen? I guess I never noticed. But you, you guys are just screaming at your computers, no wonder it fits so good. I'm looking straight down at it. I couldn't see it. Good thing I noticed. Well, it could maybe go a fraction of a millimeter on the bottom to the my right there all right Okay, let's see if I can just reinforce it now without moving it. And I did move it, but it didn't break off the bottom. Okay. Well, you can see what I did. Tried to uh, reinforce it a little bit there and I knocked it loose. Of 
Okay. Um, okay, it's it's in the right place now. I don't know how well it it is adhering, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this overnight, and then we'll get the other two ladders on the other side. Uh, maybe I went a little bit too far to the right here. Let's, let me just look straight down on that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Let's try and get a little bit on the bottom. Just on the side. Try not to actually touch the ladder with the applicator. Just let the CA wick its way across there. Okay. We'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And I am still quite happy with these fake mushroom vents that I put on. Anyway, I have to now mount this in such a way so that we can turn this over like this so that we can drop these two ladders here and here and not worry about breaking off one of these five other ladders. And that CA glue that we put on yesterday evening is, uh, I think it's, I think it's good enough. I think if I'm very careful when I'm painting with the brush, um, I won't break them off. I'm, at least that's the plan. Now this, once again, a situation like this is where an airbrush is, is a lot better. Although, mind you, I have blown stuff away with the airbrush if you get it in too close. But uh, we won't be using the airbrush on this. We're going to be using a paintbrush. Okay, let's see if I can't just rig this up somehow so that I don't need to worry about it uh, rubbing on the green cloth. Okay. Now moving very carefully here. Now I think that I'm going to have to maybe no no it's going to fit. For a minute there I thought they were going to it was going to be impossible to get it on both ends at the same time. As I mentioned last night, I want to be careful that I don't have the bottom of the ladder coming down so that when I mount this part on the deck, it hooks onto the bottom and breaks it off. Um, these ones up here, they don't look quite straight. I'm going to just see if I can't just do something about that. Um, we're just doing a dry run here now as you can well imagine. Yeah, th th this one's crooked too. Okay, I'm going to have to straighten those up. I must have accidentally maybe touched them with my finger. These things bend so incredibly easily. Okay, as you can see here, two things have happened. I forgot to press record when I applied the glue down here, but we got one more to go, so we can do that one. But you can see how I've changed the ends here and have them sort of folded underneath so that they, there's more of a surface area on the, you know, touching the, the, uh, the bulkhead. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot stronger. And I think once it's painted, uh, we're not going to see that it's not quite right. Um, I don't know if I should put any curing agent on there or not. Maybe I'll just leave it for a little bit. Let's uh, move over and do the other one. Okay, this time I remembered to press record.
we could come down just a smidge here. All right, let's let that cure. Now being very careful where I touch this thing and where I grab it, I think we're pretty much done with it. Except for putting the F20s, which are these, in these little holes. And we're not going to do that until after this is painted, because I want them to stand out. They're already painted the 56, and we're going to be painting this probably the uh, 66. So, uh, yeah, I think we can put this away for a moment. I don't think there's anything else I can do with it before I paint it. But, but in step 34 here, just very, very gently pick it up here. Okay, in step 34, we do have this part to make. Okay, let's see what we can do. I think we're probably going to be soldering again, aren't we? Or are we just going to use a CA? Okay, this is what is supposed to happen here. This part right here is this pedestal part right here. And it's supposed to go in right here, in that hole. And uh, I, I might have to drill that out here. I want to see if it's going to fit. Yeah, it might have to be drilled out just a little bit. I think the peg is slightly too big. Either that or I wasn't getting it. No, it doesn't want to go. Okay, we'll fix that later. That's not a problem. Uh, but what I'm thinking is that in all likelihood, this piece, after we get it put together, should be one of the last pieces we put on. We don't want to put this on now while we're still working working with this part. Um, so uh, yeah, we're, we'll just have to have to wait there. I know we had to we had to put our mushroom vents on now, but uh, some some of these other pieces, uh, like for instance, these antenna things are going to be sticking out over the end of, of this railing here and. I can really envision myself breaking those off. Now, I'd like to be able to do this whole thing on camera, but I got a feeling that this might be one of those jobs that might be best done off camera. But that's supposed to go in there like that. Okay, and then these pointy things are supposed to be folded up so that they, they, they come out here. And then you notice there's sort of like a, a, a little tongue coming out here. Well, that, I believe that's supposed to sort of... See, would that fold or would that stay straight? I think it folds just a little bit. And it, and it goes into this little hole there. So as you, as you can see, this, this uh, part, after it's assembled, is going to be incredibly delicate. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this off camera and then we'll take a close look at it afterwards. Yeah, sorry about that. Now I know that in the past I've said I'm going to do it off camera and then afterwards I think, you know, maybe I could do it on camera. But but I think, I, re I really do think that uh, uh, I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, let's stop talking about it. Let's Let's get it done. Okay, here we go. I wasn't going to show you, was I? Well, in a way I'm not, but I, I do want to show perspective here, though, before we get going. And uh, I've, I've tried this several times here, and I think, I think I've almost got it, so... Sorry about that. Maybe I should use something else to hold it here. I'm going to use one of uh, G 
Gabe's swabs here. Now I know the thing of it is when I if I was to get it and I eventually will I will get it I I just I just keep at this sort of thing till I either wreck it or get it so I think it's best if I grab it out at the end like this I will hold it down maybe I'll hold it down on the tongue so it doesn't go sliding around now when we get it when we do get it in place. I don't want the CA glue running down and gluing it to the to the paper. It's got to go just a oh, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Sorry, folks. Okay, we are gonna try a bit of a different approach here. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm going to have to turn this thing about 90 degrees here. Okay, now that is basically in place. You can see it's rocking back and forth here between the two points that eventually have to be squeeze together but what I'm going to try to do here is get it to glue perpendicular uh, I don't know how I can hold it unless maybe unless maybe I was to glue it in place and then just sort of bend it in straight later that that might work too okay well that way is is pretty good now if I was to come in with a with a little bit of glue here once again, I'm using the CA Thin. Now, whoops. No, I, I don't want this to, to stick to the applicator. Maybe doing that one's not a good idea because the, uh, the tweezers is there. Let's, let's, let's do this one over here. Can you still see? Okay, now if I could get that to... I wonder how fast that's gonna, gonna solidify. Maybe if I was to push this over, it might stay in the right place, but probably not. Yeah, I'd like to, I would like it to stay just like that. Okay, I, I think the idea is right. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep messing with it until I get it. Okay, probably about five minutes has passed here while I was messing around repositioning my camera. I just want to see if that glue is starting to to set up, or is it still very, very liquidy? It's starting to set up. Okay, I'm just going to sort of push it in place there and hopefully it's going to stay. That's pretty much at 90 degrees to the bottom. Now the whole apparatus is slightly tilted a little bit to your left. Um, but, but I do believe that the antenna is perpendicular to this, this base part that I'm almost touching right now. Now I'm going to wrap today's episode up. And we will continue on with this uh, in tomorrow's episode. Um, I know you can't see the clock right now. Usually I have it in the scene. But it's, uh, it's almost noon here. I got a lot of editing to do. So thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>